Good evening everybody, welcome back to the channel. How are you doing? It is a Sunday night. Hope you've all had a great weekend. We're gonna carry on and finish off my recording for this evening with the next episode from Home Free in the Sing Off. Now, I can't find an episode three, so they must have gone on to episode four, and this is what this is. If I've got the wrong one, you'll let me know, but let's crack into this. And this one should have the judges' comments at the end of it as well. Let's do it. Well, after a great show last time, our own judge, Ben Foles, decided it was time to get in the mix and personally give our groups their next challenge. Mm. OK, interesting. <laughs> sure you right, all this is all the others I'll see now. <laughs> Your assignment is my generation, chart toppers that span the decades. Talk amongst yourselves, deliberate, and uh, come up with something that's going to kick America's ass. Oh, all these kick groups, I found that they each have something that's getting in the way of who they are. And when they clear that out, any of them are unstoppable. Right, Their superpower okay. is being you. That's words of wisdom. <laughs> an audience can learn who an artist has become at the same moment as the artist discovers it. And that's the most powerful thing in the world. You guys got a lot of work to do, so get to it, and I'll, I'll stop by and see how it's going. You ready? Yeah! All right, let's get going. All right, we'll see how Ben tried to help each group show their true colors in just a moment. You're watching the sing off. Here we go. Some of America's top uh, singing Simon groups are delivering all vocal takes on songs that span the generations. Our first group this evening has staked their claim in the competition with a smooth Ooh. country sound. We circled round with the five gents of Home Free to see how they plan to fire up a Johnny Cash hit from the golden age of country music. Okay. Home Free has been professional now for the last five years, and we do about 200, 250 shows a year. Oh, we're right. always in the RV, and we're always in each other's space. So uh -huh. now the hotel is a lot like the RV without the wheels. Seriously, another banana in the sink. <laughs> I mean, I like the hotel and all, but it's no RV. Uh -huh. <laughs> Well, I've seen that, really so that's well. good. Right, fine. I've not missed one then. We couldn't have asked for more. It sounds so easy when you guys sound relaxed. It sounds like it just comes out of you, but it's deceptively hard. It's a good job. <laughs> I love you guys. For the next performance, we need to bring it again. So we decided to go with the man in black, Johnny Cash. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Fire. Ring of Fire isn't necessarily from my generation, but I grew up with it, so it feels like it's it's a part of who I am. Hey, what's up, Ben? What's up? Ben is easily my biggest influence from the last 20 years. I talk about I artistry of smile. Of acapella. The most amazing artists can go out and do something very vulnerable. That's the part that, that is going to move people back home. Because winning is reaching and moving people, either by making them laugh or cry or dance or move their butt. <laughs> <laughs> These guys are technically experienced singers. They go home. It would simply be because with all the technique in the world, they they didn't tell us the story. I feel for you like a child. Ben said that one way to go is to show our vulnerable side, and we are actually going to try and have like a tender moment, and from then on right. make it a little bit more fun. Looking forward to this. Our version of Ring of Fire is going to set the stage on fire. What? Hey. Boom. <laughs> Performing Ring of Fire by Johnny Cash. Come on then, boys. Here we go. Let's have it. Sweet, oh, in hearts 
so like ours be. And I fell for you like a child. Oh, oh. but the fire went wild. Stop. I'll stand up as well for that one. Very good. Very good. Home free, take it on the man. Woo! People in Pasadena just called and reported a seismic event. That was ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Let's go to the panel. Uh, ben. Ben. They take your advice. What they you stay reckon? true to themselves on that performance. Oh, oh man, you, you you did it all. You guys opened and you, you like encapsulated something about the song, which is is sad, and it was perfectly executed. And then the middle got fun. Tim, you went from being an instrument this time to being human, and uh, and it was so great. <laughs> it, it was because before you've been like the like the singing refrigerator guy, like oh, oh, oh. but this time, <laughs> like the tree, you know, like the wise tree. Maybe a wise tree is a better, you know. <laughs> People pass that, you like, that oh, complimentary, that more comment. More. But, but no, we really... <laughs> and then the, the end with that massive, heavy, low note is just a great way to leave everyone going, holy <laughs> what was that? And... <laughs> anyway, that was awesome, guys. Oh, wow. That was... Now, Jewel... What did you think about the version these guys did? Hello, that was sweet. You know, June, June. actually wrote this song uh, when she met Johnny and she was still married, which gives it a lot of she heart and a lot of feel <laughs> of feeling like you're, you're sinning. So that poignancy was really brought out by that beginning. Did I just hear acapella country reggae? Yeah. Is that yeah. what just came <laughs> here? Yeah. yeah. That was really great. And I mean, that's like a low F sharp. Oh, here that's she like goes again with her F sharp. most men can sing. Wow. And I heard those high notes. You're covering over three octaves, it sounds she like. Loves I mean, you really octave. have some sick range there, country boy. Uh -huh. Really, really good. She's good. very impressed. Consistently impressed with that voice. So, Sean, they do Johnny Cash justice? What do you Absolutely. think? Absolutely. Even though you consider yourselves a, a country a cappella group, you show so much more than that. Adam, with that reggae dance hall beat, I would have never thought of anything like that, but it worked. Like, it, it, it absolutely worked. Austin, yeah. listen, your voice is just smooth as butter, bro. Like, <laughs> you know, honestly, like... He really likes Austin as well, so many elements to you guys. It's great to watch, and you I guys know he's from Boys to Men, though. Yeah, well done. Good comments. Thanks, gentlemen. Very nice job. Very good. <laughs> Have you ever heard anybody sing that low before? I don't know if I've no. ever heard anyone hit a note. The only note. person I've heard that sing that low, that's honestly, crazy. is Mike McCary. That used to that's be in my crazy. group. Gary White that. sang quite low, though, didn't he? Anyway, let's not debate it. Let's just say he's got the lowest voice. Yeah, again, just evidence of why they went on and won this competition. They're just getting better and better through these performances. Glad I obviously didn't miss one in between. That was their third one of the competition. Very good comments from the judges, as always, very, very complimentary. I got a little view of some of the other groups that were involved in the sing-off as well there. So I might go back and have a look at some of the other shows where the, the, all of the groups are playing, but I'll have a think about that. But I'm not sure how many more of these we've got to go before the final, but you'll let me know in the comments I'm sure but they will be coming along in the next few days as always so make sure you hit the subscribe hit the like and I'll see you back to continue the journey